Hey y'all, this is David, the Georgia Photographer, and today I'm going to tell, talk about the Nikon Z50 as a video camera. Every time I come to this park, something's going on. They're currently weed eating right over there. You can probably hear it. It's kind of a special duty camera for me. A lot of people like it for general photography, but I like to use it for two things. One is video. It's, it's light, compact. It shoots, um, I'm not sure, all the video modes. They'll populate, I'll stick, not, not an exhaustive list, but if it shoots 4K, it'll be up here. But uh, I know it shoots 1080p, because that's what I use. I like to use it with a 10 to 20 millimeter lens. Since it's crop sensor and all, that gives me a field of view of like 15 to 30, which is pretty reasonable. Right now I'm at 10 millimeters, and it gives me to where I can set it on a table, talk to the camera, and I'm in frame. And if I want to like punch in a little bit, I have a little bit of zoom. I can do that. That's a standard F mount DX lens. So I have to have the F to Z adapter. I have a KNF Concepts variable ND filter. And you see, it says it's uh, ND2 to ND400 wrote on it. If it's real dim, I'll take it completely off and shoot without it. But it just threads on the front of the lens. I have the little Manfrotto B Free, or not B Free, Manfrotto Pixie. But mine's like a Pixie Plus or something because the legs extend. I don't even know if you can get this tripod anymore, but I've used it since I had my GoPros. For several years now, I've used this little tripod. It works really good for most of my uses. Occasionally, I run into trouble with it, but most of the time, it works great. And I've got it screwed onto an Arca Swiss adapter, and then I run an Arca Swiss plate on my camera. And I've got it mounted to the F to Z and not to the camera body. It kind of balances the rig a little better. And then for sound, I'm running the Rode Video Micro plugged straight into the camera and I've got the audio level set to manual and I've got it set to level 10 out of 20 so it's right in the middle. I was running auto audio level control and I kept running into problems with the sound cutting in and out where it would hear some kind of loud noise and it would dampen off the sound. I normally run this camera in video mode. It's got a selector switch on top of the camera to select between uh, photos and video. When I run it in video, I set it to manual. I set my frame rate to either 150th or 160th. If it's a little dimmer, I'll go to 150th because I'm running 24 frames. But if I want to like control the light just a little more, you know, and take out a third of or a half stop of light or whatever, I'll go to 160th. My frame rate's 24 frames. It's, I think it's 23.987 or whatever, 1080p HD, auto ISO. And the aperture will be typically, is I try to run it wide open, but like right now I've got it stopped down to like 6.3 because the sun is so bright. I don't like to run the ND maxed out. So the ND's on about four marks right now. It's about two thirds of the way to max because this direct sun is really bright. So I've got it on, I've got the ND dialed in about two thirds of the way. Because if you go to full ND, you start getting those X's in your frame. So right now it's at uh, about two thirds of the ND engaged. So you're probably looking at four or five. That's loud. And it got louder. Wow. That way I get a good exposure and, you know, I'm not trying to. As, there's been times when I've run like F13, but it seems like I start to get soft images. And Aaron was pointing that out the other day to me. So. I've been trying to keep the aperture opened up a little more and just run a little more ND instead. And that seems to help a lot. And on top of that, I, like I said, I run the shutter speed up some too. This little rig is lightweight, it's compact. The Z50 battery holds charge pretty good, doesn't give me much trouble there. I do have a spare battery for it. I bought an extra battery when I bought the camera. And I've gotten into the spare battery more than once. It, it's not hard to do. I do run autofocus full field AF-F, I think is what they call it. So it detects me and focuses on me. And it works really well from what I can tell. It, it doesn't have a lot of trouble maintaining focus. I really haven't gotten into the whole dampening modes to control the focus. I don't feel like I need it. They work fine like they are from the factory. As far as picture profiles go, I don't really mess with that. It's just whatever the standard profile is, I haven't adjusted it. I was gonna turn down the sharpening and all that, but it seems to me that the video footage coming right out of the camera works just fine. So I've just been using it. But it's a great little video rig. 
If you have the need for a video-centric camera and you want something small and lightweight, the Z50 works. It just works. It works really well. The whole articulating screen thing is a problem. Because it flips down and I'm running it on a tripod, I can't use it. So what I've done is I've just learned where to position the camera while I'm dialoguing or what I'm filming and I just don't look at the screen. And it also keeps me from looking off camera the whole time I'm talking so you don't get that disconnect between the uh, viewer and the talent on screen is what they call it. You know, you get when your people read cue cards and they're obviously reading the cue card and they're reading this way, and but they're talking to you, it's kind of weird. You know what I mean. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys and share what kind of video rig I use because I've gotten the question a few times, like, what are you using for your video? And I thought, well, maybe I should make a video about it. But yeah, it's a great little system. And like I said, I've... I haven't bought any extra lenses because I just use this 10 to 20 Nikkor and that's and brand new. It's like $350. It's a, it's not a expensive lens and it works. It works really well. It has image stabilization and that's something that the lens is so economical. It has no external switches. So to go to manual focus, you go into the settings on the camera and select manual focus. And if you want to turn on or off image stabilization, you go into the camera's menu and you turn it on or off. They saved a bunch of money, if I had to guess. You know, it has a plastic lens mount. A lot of people don't like plastic lens mounts. It works fine. It's doing a great job. I would have to come down here when they're running every power machine on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Just every single time I come to this park. I have, a, I have a reason I'm here. I want to get a photo of these two pieces of art different video the other use for my z50 is my wildlife photography camera i have the 500 millimeter phase fresnel f mount lens and i run it on the f to z into the z50 and it produces stunning photos of wildlife if you haven't went and watched my costa rica wildlife photo videos most of those images are captured with the z50 in especially in episode two episode one has a bunch of z6 photos because it when I started that trip, I was shooting the Z6 on it. But by the end of the trip, I had done relegated the Z6 to just snapshot duty, and I had basically permanently mounted the Z50 with the 500 millimeter and left it. And it, it just works. That's the only two lenses I ever really put on this camera, is this one and the 500. Nothing in between. <laughs> I just wanted to share my video rig with you guys so you could see what I use and you know just kind of show it to you. So with that, this is David, the Georgia photographer, along with a bunch of weed eaters saying, until next time, get your camera out and go take a picture with it. All right, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.